is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And today we're checking out a 1971 Mustang convertible. Super sharp looking car, great colors, great look. Nice little exhaust rumble. <laughs> nice little single exhaust rumble. There you go. The, that's what I like about this car. I mean, they just kept it a 302, two barrel, uh, very nice under the hood, single exhaust, but that badass muscle car look with the Mach 1 hood, the front spoiler, rear spoiler. It's had a nice torque thrust, chrome wheels, raised white letter tires, and a wonderful stance on this, Dalton. Yeah, it looks really sharp. It is. This car was restored about two years ago. Um, by a guy that just restores Mustangs. He, he does uh, local car show quality drivers, and that's what he builds, so we can keep them in this price range, uh, you know, in a good price range where somebody can jump in and drive it to a cruise night, take it to your local car show, and just enjoy it. Nice and quiet, too. Yeah, it is. Engine sounds good. Hey, it's clean under the hood. Oh, very very cool. nice, you know, I mean, it's not a rotisserie restored car, but just a, like I said, a beautiful turnkey cruise night car. Bottom of the hood is painted gorgeous. They did a nice job there on the uh, door jams, fender jams, everything they did a nice job on. All new bolts here. So it tells me that everything was taken apart, painted in the booth, put back together using all new bolts and stuff like that. I don't think you can get that little 302 to run any nice. No, man. super smooth running car. Power steering, which is super nice on it. Does not have power brakes, so we'll have to see how that uh, stops when we get to get in the drive video. It's got the uh, radiator shroud. Looks like new hoses. I love the Mach 1 uh, hoods on these two. It just gives the, even though they never made a Mach 1 convertible, in 71, two, or three. They just, they just look cooler. Yeah, they do, with the stripe package. and I really like the 71 with the uh, chrome bumper as well, and the bumpers are all replaced, along with all the trim, it looks like here. A lot of them have the Enduro painted bumper, but I'm yep. personally a little, uh, a little more fan of the uh, chrome. Yeah, I like the chrome bumpers as well. Car seems to line up very good too. Yeah, they, he did a nice job, really. Back of the hood fits nice, and this is a huge hood. These 71 to 73 hoods are kind of like the Monte Carlo in the Chevys. I mean, they're just a bigger, longer hood. Yes, they are. As far as our paint and decals here on the hood, everything lines up nice, really nice shine, up and down. Uh, when it came in, even though the paint was only a couple years old, a nice polish and buff really made a difference. Yeah, it did. I recommend doing that every year or two. Um, just a light polish. Here you can see the top of the hood, door. You can see some evidence of that buffing right here. That's yeah. just a little buffing compound. Just a little bit in the edge, but no, no uh, chips or nothing here. The bottom of the fender is perfect. No bubbles or blisters anywhere in this door, rocker, or lower quarter. And it really seems to line up really nice as well. A little bit of buffing compound right in this little line which I really like that too. Um, a lot of people will kind of, I want to say putty that in, but they'll, Fill it they'll in. get rid of that line and uh, it's just not correct. Same thing back in here. You know, you can tell this piece has never been replaced. It's got all the factory lines in here as well. Mm -hmm. Trunk lid lines up beautifully right here. And even though it's single exhaust, it still has a nice little rumble to it, nice yeah. little sound. It does sound good. Um, tail light lenses are original along with the uh, the back uh, bezel here. So there's a couple little scratches and stuff like that around the chrome. Back bumper has been replaced. They did a beautiful job painting the rear valance. Again, stripe package looks good. Hey, how about that power top, huh? Looks like they did a brand new top. It's got a brand new uh, top switch in there that Dalton's pushing. That gives it the full look. I mean, I really like the red and black. Is it uh, 
seem to shut pretty nice, Dean. Yeah, I'll let you open yours first. Yeah, if I can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this door a second. So, as I talked a little bit under the hood, they pulled the fenders off, all new bolts. Looks like they definitely pulled the doors off as well. Corner of the doors are rust-free, so the Restorer really started with a nice, solid car. If you go on our website, the floors, frame rails, and everything like that are solid as well. Door jam paint's excellent. Rubbers are nice. Carpet, seat covers look like they've all been redone as well. All new rubbers here. Again, you can tell fenders, doors, everything was off. They did a beautiful job painting in inside here. Uh, dash pad is excellent, visors are nice. Um, shifter, excellent shape, that's all beautiful. Um, it's got an older AM FM cassette in it. This thing runs so quiet we didn't even shut it off for the video. Um, gas gauge seems to work as well, beautiful dash. Paint on the dash is nice. Um, it's a really nice car. It's got a couple little cracks in the console, which makes it kind of a driver. Um, armrest bases are nice, but you can tell they've been uh, re-dyed a little bit, so 15 bucks you can replace them. Uh, door panel has been replaced in beautiful shape. As we come here, seat folds up nice with a nice chrome lever back there. Back door panels are in excellent shape. It's got seat belts in the front and the back. As we look inside the top, it does look like they painted all the top uh, brackets and bows and stuff when they did the restoration. Couple little cracks right here in the uh, in the convertible rubber. Door shut, great. It does have the dual sport mirrors. Didn't shut the door quite hard enough. There we go. Again, lines up awesome. Back window's nice and tight. Um, you can see just a few little wrinkles, but for a new top, whoever put this on did a gorgeous job. Just needs just a little more time out in the sun. Um, that's about it there. Back bumper seems to line up good as we look up and down the driver's side. Nice and straight. The bottom of the door in the driver's side, you know, is just sticks out just a little bit. That's really the only lineup imperfection that I can find on this car. And a little dirt from driving it just around the corner here. Tire tread's excellent. Look like newer tires. All the chrome around the convertible top's been replaced. Looks like they went ahead and did new door handles. They look awesome. Bottom of the doors, rockers, lower fender, excellent. Again, back here on the top. I'm just seeing just a little bit of solvent pop. I didn't see it from before, but it does have just a few little specks of dirt in here, solvent pop in the paint. Nothing you can see until you're right on top of a couple of areas. Rubbers here have been replaced. Again, driver's door, rust-free, super nice. Real nice heavy paint on the door jams, which I like. They didn't skimp there at all. Seat covers, no wear or tear. It's nice in Iowa, but uh, it's also going into the middle of, almost the middle of November, so. Definitely a chilly. Cold. Remote mirror, and look how nice and easy this window goes up. Very, very nice. How about you, Dee? Perfect. Good. All right. Awesome, we got a heater. That feels good, too. Yeah, it does. Going. Um, gas gauge works. No tack, it's just got all the factory lights over here. Again, that power top switch is new. Works really well. really much for to talk about in here is there besides yeah, the wipers and heater they both work so it's got a nice little speaker in the dash so single speaker single exhaust yep we got two-way traffic on a very little spot looks like the corvette uh just got done here by your tech on the sole ticket and ready to go out Ready to head to New Mexico. Is that where it's going? Be a lot warmer down there. Yeah, we'll need the heater down in New Mexico today. Um, horn does not work. I 
can't get the, it seems like everything's all complete there, but I'm really liking this little Mustang. Inside, outside, paint, body, just a really nice car. Yeah, and how about this 302 two barrel? Yeah, but puts you right back in your seat. It really does, and what a nice shift. So, very, very impressed with it so far. We're gonna see all those brakes stop. Check that shit out. Look at that. Now that surprised me. Yeah. That's manual drum, drum brakes. brakes. The pedal's way up here to the top. Really nice brakes. So nothing needed there during, uh, as far as the brakes. Don't worry about power. Don't worry about disc on this little Mustang. I'm just impressed with how much performance it has. It seems it's, to have some. It's, some it's kind of crazy. Yeah. A 65, 70 mile an hour right there. No hands on the wheel. We got a great alignment. The only thing we have is we have, and this is so common. Another one had the same problem. Just right here, um, out. You know, probably just put a new rubber right at the very front of this. And I think that's what's missing. Need a yeah. new rubber right there because you can just feel just a little air coming in right above the uh, rear view mirror. Which I want to mention that rear view mirror is super tight as well. Kick downwards. I'm really glad I got an opportunity to drive this little Mustang because I am super impressed. Me Excellent too. running, driving, shifting, stopping, nice paint, nice interior. 71 Mustang convertible that you can buy at. Forty thousand nine ninety five at Coyote Classics. Okay, check it out on the website. I'll put the link to the website down in the comments of this video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.